get in here. Get in here, get in here. Get the freak in here. Mm, mm, mm. I tried to mind my business. I tried. <sighs> Lord knows I tried. Let me wipe my phone. Because it's going to be quick and easy. Tried to mind my business. I tried to go on about my day. But we are live here at Cooch Land. This is an emergency coach Cooch in the morning. This is an emergency. I'm going to let a few more people come in and I'm going to say what I got to say. But this won't fucking wait until Monday. This is an emergency. I have never done this a day in my life. Get back online twice in one day. I got shit to do. But you know what? This got to be said. This. Coach Cooch was called out. Back out to the headquarters. We're live here at Coach Cooch headquarters where once again a motherfucking nigga try to play in somebody's face. And we don't say the word nigga on this show anymore. But right now it is an emergency. It is a state of a motherfucking emergency. And therefore we can say the word nigga right now. Okay? You motherfuckers. Alright? First of all, this is all about Saweetie and Quavo breaking up. And them breaking up is regular shit. I had a feeling they was broken up, so I was okay with them breaking up. It was none of my business. Couples break up all the time. But you know what? This gotta be said in case of some young bitch watching this shit and they don't understand when a nigga's trying to play in your motherfucking face. So let me explain what happened, okay? So on the other day of the show, we said that we think that Quavo and Saweetie broke up because we saw that Saweetie wasn't following Quavo no more, right? So finally, that's what I like about her. She ain't saving no motherfucking face. She finally put up that she, she said, I emotionally checked out a long time ago and have walked away with a deep sense of peace and freedom, excited for this new chapter. Before she said that, though, she said, <clears throat> I'm single. I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character. Par Presents don't band aid scars, and the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women. And you know what? She got that motherfucking shit right. Once your man starts sharing your dick out in the streets, there's nothing you can work out. See, these fellas, y'all used to girls that's not used to being around men. Y'all used to girls that ain't got no fathers. Y'all used to girls that got low self esteem. No bitch that no better is going to accept that in their life. Okay? Nobody with any self esteem is going to accept a man giving out their penis. Just like you guys, a lot of fellas won't accept a woman um, cheating on you. Women that are around men and been raised around men, they do not accept that type of bullshit because we were all taught that you deserve better. The problem with motherfuckers like Quavo is that they hang out with men who women accept things, okay? So when they hang out with their man, and I know this from owning barbershops and all type of shit, all right? They are used to women who are accepting of those type of behaviors. So they believe that, oh, well, she accepts it, so my girls will accept it. Bitch, you guessing, all right? Every chick is different, all right? Every chick is different, and nobody is going to sit there and accept that shit, okay? First of all, my parents next week will be married 37 years. You think that we're going to sit there and accept a man treating us bad when all our life, all we saw was our mother treated spoil you and like a queen? So you want to sit there, Quavo, and cheat? On Saweetie? Saweetie, I don't care. She I don't care what you tell me about Saweetie. Saweetie is gorgeous. She she's a little she's you know mostly talent somewhat talented. You know what I'm saying? But she definitely can model. All right. So even if she ain't a rapper, she definitely is a model. But the point of the matter is is that this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Okay? Because you will not be sitting here. This is what made me come alive. It wasn't the fact that they are broken up. It's, this is the fact, okay? This is what this motherfucker had to say. And that really pissed me off because we got to stop letting dudes play in our face. And Saweetie is Quavo's girlfriend, the one that you and I, Ryan, was debating under the picture about the threesome thing, under their picture. This is what his bitch ass had to say about them breaking up, okay? she He said, I have, he said, I know you want to make this into a show. 
jealous because she got the best YouTube ever. So I'll play my part just this one time. I don't understand. I don't normally put my business out there, especially my personal life. I feel the need. I feel the need to address this. So there are no false narratives. Okay, he says, I had love for you and disappointed you did all that. You are not the woman I thought you were. I wish you nothing but the best. What kind of woman was she, uh, Quavo? A bitch that don't accept you cheating on her? A bitch that don't accept bad treatment? Every girl is not going to accept it. So you know what, Quavo? Instead of being a real man and just taking your, you know, breakup and keeping it fucking moving, you try to, like, ruin this girl character in the street, y'all motherfucking guys got to stop acting like a bitch. That is so bitchy. I don't care if you're a rap. I don't care if you're rich. You can still be a bitch. And right now, you're acting like a rich bitch, Okay. Even if she wasn't the woman you thought she was. Let's just say she wasn't. You are gaslighting. The point of the matter is, is that it's it's your fault why y'all broke up. And now you're trying to diss her and say she wasn't the woman that you thought she was. Yeah, you're right. She wasn't a weak-ass woman that you wanted. You wanted some weak bitch that you could go and do whatever the fuck you wanted to do with. And she wasn't having it. Every girl is not having it. Do you see how she looked? She don't have to be sitting there fucking with you. Fucking with the help. She don't got to mess with you. You rich. But let me tell you something. Sweetie's gorgeous. She's going to get her a good man. And let me tell you something. You thought she was one of those girls that's going to save face. That's the motherfucking problem. That's what these guys do. When you're not the type to save face. And you're the type to let it out. Because he probably didn't want her. He probably didn't think she was going to let all of the tea out. And now that the tea is out. He think like. Oh let me go ahead and ruin her character. She not your homeboy's wife. He's, she's not that girl. You used to dudes just buying stuff and, and everything is just okay. Every girl is not a punk ass bitch, all right? Every girl is not going to stay with you when you get caught out there cheating. And why should she? She is very successful as well. She's gorgeous. Why should she accept it? But instead of you just taking your L and not saying nothing, your bitch ass, that's the comment you have. See, now just off of that response, she better never fuck with you again. Because you playing in her motherfucking face. And I'm going to find out more information about this. But the point of the matter is, is that you pissed me off. I stopped doing everything I was doing and ran down here to report the news the emergency news because you are really like playing in her face and for you to have that response i don't know if you got friends that's gonna tell you the truth you a bitch like a real bitch and if any fellas is watching this situation unfold do not take quavos like even the guys in the comments was like damn nigga like you should maybe not say that part like she wasn't the woman that you thought she was. So you just out there buying Bentleys and spending all your time with women that wasn't who you thought they were. Shut the fuck up. You're lying. Get out of my face, Quavo. You are a bitch. And okay. And this is the thing. Fellas, I understand. We are free now. Women got the same rights. But y'all got to go back to being men. Men don't respond to when women have little outbursts on social media. I wish she never even put nothing on social media. Because now this is going to get them, these bitches a little gaslight thinking that they got to one up on her. But it's okay. Now that she she's young. She don't know the game yet. She put it out there, but then also she put it out there because she probably already got a new dude and he, and people are seeing her with him and they probably thinking that she's cheating on you when in fact she already been left you. So that's what you thought was going on. But let me tell you something. You will not play in Sweetie Face and you will not play in any of our us women faces. You fellas, this is why y'all be killing girls. I see what's going on now with you guys. You guys just want to get over with whatever y'all want to do. And let me tell you something. Quavo hangs out with some of the worst men ever. And he think that Saweetie's one of them. And Saweetie's not one of them. She will move on. That's a Cali bitch. That's not an Atlanta girl. No offense to my Atlanta girls. I love y'all too. But y'all got a little bit more tolerance than most people. The principle of it is that nobody's accepting that. Nobody is accepting that. All right? So she left you. She been emotionally gone from you, and you thought that because you bought her that Bentley that that was gonna keep her. Listen, you could bag one baller, you could bag the second baller, and the fact that you wrote that she's disappointed or you disappointed because she's not the woman you thought her was. You're a bitch. You're a bitch, and that's why I came live just to say you are a bitch, and I will be putting this up on Instagram so that when your publicist sees your name in this post they'll know that you're a bitch okay you are a bitch a big bitch a big b bitch okay because you messed up so don't worry you messed up 
You fucked up now. So let's see how this all play out. So after all, y'all might not get y'all a hot girl summer because um, Megan is with her, her man from the Bronx. And, and men from the Bronx got some good stuff. So she might not be messing with him. Stop messing with him for a while. So Megan ain't in the game. The City Girls is not in the game. But now it's about to be an icy summer. So now we're going to see how this all unfolds and i hope she don't go back to your little bitch ass because you just try to play her character you really try to play in her face so if you ever wondered what i mean by a man trying to play in your face well ladies this is a man who is trying to play in her face and she's not stupid so when they say that oh you're not the girl that i thought you was that means that you're not fucking dumb and you know what this is a good this is good for everybody OK, this is good for everybody to see what's going on, because these guys will play in her face. All right. These these guys will play in your face. So if you never understood what playing your face meant, this is what the fuck playing your face meant. Now, let's see what Sweetie get, because honestly, I was surprised that Quavo was able to back her anyway. So I want to see. And as soon as I started liking y'all, y'all going to break up like this. I'm not liking no more celebrity couples. After LeBron and Savannah, that is it. I'm done with the celebrity couples because y'all motherfuckers is phony. And it be the fellas that's phony. Y'all are so phony. How you cheat on Sweetie out of all people? You are canceled. Yes. Be, uh, my best BK Reels has said it best. You are canceled. You are done, Quavo. Okay? We don't like you anymore. You're corny. Once y'all break up, we're no longer friends with you. We didn't even like you from the beginning. But so we liked you, so we let you in our world. But in the end of the day, for real, like, you should never even respond it. You're a bitch. And we're going to see how this play out. She probably already got a new boo, and you're mad about it. So, Get out of my face. I'm not even going to like Meg and Party no more. Even though Party from the Bronx and I want to like them so bad, I'm not liking any of more of these celebrities because these celebrity men are very fucking phony. And I had to stop what I was doing, put my lipstick on, put my earrings back on, put my bra back on to talk about this. So I could not wait until Saturday. I mean, until Monday. It could not work. Now, if anything else happened from then, I can't help because I got to work tomorrow. But the principle of it is, is that you was playing in people's face, Quavo, and I don't fucking like it all right so maybe one day y'all can work it out but now y'all cannot work it out now all right i can't handle it i'm sorry i can't handle it i'm aggravated this will ruin my whole goddamn weekend all right especially because he and like i said it wasn't that they broke up people break up every day it's the point that he had to feel the need to respond so i don't like that shit that's real bitchy and quavo you're just a bitch bye y'all i'm out of here peace Bitch ass.